Hey guys, we are starting on our game number two of our Master Tier promos, and I'm feeling pretty good about this. I've waited a little bit of time since my last game, that way I make sure that nobody bans Master Yi. And hopefully we can show you how to carry some games, and I don't know, let's go ahead and get started. Ah, uh, winning games in Magic, winning games in League. What's new, Calcif? What's new? So our win conditions are, what kind of dragon is it? Earth dragon, that's nice. Earth dragons are a bit hard to kill though, but it's a it's a good dragon. Uh, win condition is maybe a fed Katarina, or fed me, or a bunch of dragons into a solo baron. So the earth dragon is pretty much a guaranteed solo baron at 20. So I went ahead and smited it, didn't really matter, but why not? So what we're looking at now is we're looking at enough gold to buy a pink word, a dagger, and a red smite. So if you guys remember me mentioning that I want to grab that Earth Dragon before Warwick does, right? And we can't afford a second dagger, which kind of sucks. So what I would like to do is I would like to get level 2. Or, sorry, get a level. Uh, let's check the spawn timer. Yeah, so these Krugs should spawn. Yeah, they just spawned. So we're going to take these Krugs, get level 5, and the Blast Plant spawns around 5 minutes. Uh, so it'll be spawning about when we're done, and then we'll blast plan over the wall, and then we'll kill that dragon at level 5. Alright, so we have Dragon Pryo, which is good. Dragon Pryo against Warwick's good, because he's one of the few champions that can actually out-dragon you. So the Earth Dragon's really good, because it basically secures a Baron solo at 20. As long as you can get your Guntus by 20, you can solo Baron. Um, so what we're going to be looking at here is, we typically want to have Blood Razor by 8 minutes. Uh, we're not going to make it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to buy the Recur Bow into Boots, unless we can kill Urgot. But Urgot is already 6. But so is Fiora, and he might waste his ult on Fiora. So we'll go and back him up, but the thing is... Oh, Warwick's bottom. Yeah, we can definitely do this. Oh, he wasted his stun. Nice, beautiful. I'll get this, and this will give me gold. And we're still about 100 short of uh, the Blood Razor. So instead of opting to go back right away, what we're going to do is we're going to put the Poro here. For oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, he cleared my Poro, which means he's in my red. Damn. But I can grab his... Oh, 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 oh. That is some really, really bad timing. That was some really bad timing. Okay, I thought he was in my red because he cleared my Poro. But what, see, I wasn't paying attention to the minimap. See, even people of my expert caliber don't pay attention to the minimap. I assumed that since my Poro was gone that he walked down into my red buff. But anyway, we can go back and we actually get an 8.5 minute Blood Razor, which is respectable. Uh, because our clear is coming back up. So an important thing to remember about the gold and what you get. If you get an 8 minute Blood Razor as you clear your jungle... It means less than if you get an 8 minute Blood Razor as your jungle respawns. Because that's like a minute worth of gold that you can start farming. So how's this game going? We're 4 kills behind, a tower behind, but we do have the Earth Dragon. Which gives us immense pressure later on. Uh, we only have one Ravenous though. One Ravenous stack is no good for me. I need to start getting some kill participation. It's a bit tough though. Boot should help out. So we're just trying to do our full clear here. If we ain't got no ganks. What the f Did he just shred my ward? <laughs> I didn't even know he could do that. Did not even know he could do that. Alright, so we need to start getting some kill participation on not Urgot. Alright, that's really unfortunate that Irelia roamed there. That was a 2v2 that we were going to win. If it wasn't for Irelia. But we did get an extra Ravenous stack. It's all good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and skip the Krugs and go straight for the Dragon here. While we have decent lane priority because uh, they're all screwing with that. Oh, fuck, man. 
I yeah, I don't have any team. Like I have no team. This game's looking like a loss. <laughs> I don't like when they're top laners and dragon at 12 minutes, you know you lost. Like, my team is non-existent right now, and if you have no team, it's really hard to solo carry if the enemy team is working together. Get in the bush. Alright, I got a kill and a, uh, whatever the heck that thing is, a raptor. But again, I still have no team. Nobody contested the dragon, nobody came and helped me with that. It's a really unfortunate situation that we're in right now. The game's looking not so hot. It's definitely still winnable. But it's not looking so good. We also have no wave clear because we have a Katarina mid. This Katarina mid single-handedly lost this game. <laughs> BTW. Because we, we have no wave clear with the Katarina. Where am I? All right, we win that fight pretty hard. Holy moly, that that kill was so much gold. We gotta keep the pressure up on this Baron. We cannot let them get this Baron. Come on, guys! We gotta, we gotta keep, keep the keep pressure up on this bear. We cannot, cannot let, let them get this, this bear. Very, very bad players. <laughs> very. <laughs> Horrible. So, taking a look at the team comp here, I believe that Scion's a really good pick, but so is Aatrox. I think Camille is better than Master Yi. It's not really hard to do. Zillion versus Yasuo, I think it's situational. I think that's pretty much a solid middle lane. Kai'Sa versus Lucian, I like Kai'Sa a lot more. Thresh versus Alistar, I like Alistar a lot more. Um, from, kill, from our picks alone, I think that we're going to win this game. Typically, you can usually tell with a relatively high rate if you're going to win a game or not from picks. Usually. Uh, we're going to look around, see if she was here. Oh uh, yeah, she took the blue only. Let's go and pop this Ghost Poro. Um, we might gank the Scion top. I would like to get level 4 first. Mm. Wow. That's actually amazing that he got there faster than you. He literally walked past the tower. This is really risky, by the way. But I think Camille will probably go for the blue before she goes for wolves. Ugh, I smited, man. I promise I smited. I'm dead again. Why is she so fast? Yeah, I totally smited that blue. I don't know how I missed it. Also, I went back to base when I died, didn't I? Why did I not buy any items? Interesting. Oh, she took the big one and left all the small ones. That's actually really nice of her to leave me all these small ones. Because these small ones are actually worth a good amount of money. Kaisa's coming to my golems. That's cute. These are mine. These are mine, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, mate. This is turning into a dirty game. Not good for me.
Wonderful. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't get over the fucking wall there. Every time I hear Cyanod, I know he's using it because he's about to die. <laughs> Rip. Camille's probably coming top. That guy literally just pushes until he gets ganked over and over and over. Doing what I can to salvage this game, folks. Alright, that was a fire dragon, that was a kill on Camille. And a kill on Yasuo, of course. Oh, I lost my poor out. Let's go and kill this. I'm gonna carry this game. By golly, I'm gonna carry this game. I'm gonna carry. I'm glad Zillion saved his own stay using on Baron or on uh, Alistar. That was a really good call. All right, we're just gonna let Zion have his top lane. That's just what he does. You know, he just kind of pushes top all game. This game is starting to get back into my control here. Definitely winnable. As long as Zillion just keeps ulting me and I keep going uh, tanky here. And I don't throw. Because we did just get the Baron, which means that we denied them Baron, which is a pretty big deal. Alright, so we're going to push down this tower and try to get to the next tower. Uh, so everybody that's anybody is on the enemy side over here, which gives me time to push this tower. Um, now the Atrox is going to spawn, but he's going to be ultless. Ugh. I tried really hard there. I got three men. Yeah, I don't have enough uh, damage because of the build that I went, but... We did get a tower there. Now we can definitely go for like as Trever or something. Like just finish off a damage or go GA for the double annoying. I don't think they can shove this. <laughs> the Kamikaze Alistar. I like it. He just puts some bombs on his head so that when he hits, he stuns. I'm up. I'm on my way. I don't have ult though.
Alright, we can probably just push it in this here. Alright, yeah, this game wasn't very educational, I apologize, but... It was a very stressful game. I tried to keep my cool, because I know that you can always win, but damn, these guys are like... There were a few times I really wanted to flame them, but I didn't. I didn't. I kept my cool. Enough. The thing is, you can always win games, especially when you have a team comp as good as this. Like, I mentioned, I believe I mentioned at the beginning of the game, you could just tell when you win games because of team comp. And this is one of those games where you could just tell. That is game three of my master promos. We are now 2-1. That was a really close game. I'm actually, uh, to get, to get, to get, to get, to get.